South Africa's Oscar Pistorius amazed the world as he collected his third Paralympic gold medal at the Bird's Nest on Tuesday. The Blade Runner swept the men's 100-meter, 200-meter and 400-meter gold medals. CCTV's Mark Dreyer was there to see him clinch his third goal of the Games. Shortly before 9 p.m. on Tuesday night, several thousand die-hard athletics fans were waiting for the very last track and field event for the Paralympic Games. For once, the man they'd come to see wasn't one of their own from China. Instead, it was the South African Oscar Pistorius, dubbed the fastest man on no legs. All his competitors in the 400-meter final were from the T44 division for athletes with one leg amputated. But Oscar, the favorite, was born with no fibula bones in his legs and as a double amputee he competes as a T43 runner against the T44s. A considerable disadvantage you might think but this is a man on a mission. It was an even start from the field of seven runners but Oscar soon hit his stride. By the time he came down to the home straight to complete the lap he was running a race of his own. To the delight of the crowd and to no one's surprise Oscar Pistorius took the gold, setting another world record in the process. And after wins already in the 100 and 200 metres, it was hard for the breathless South African to compare all his feats. Uh, the 100 has been obviously the one that was for me the most nerve-wracking. Uh, the 200 race was, was obviously the one that I think I enjoy the most. 400 is never a nice race to run, it's extremely tough, but no, I really enjoyed coming out tonight. And I think for me, you know, having a gold of... Uh, uh, the goal of getting three goals, my dream's been real last night and you know, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's been behind me and helped me get you. Born less than 22 years ago in Santon, South Africa, he played a variety of sports growing up, but after a serious knee injury playing rugby in 2004, he switched to running and hasn't looked back since. There are those who have said that his prosthetic blades give him an unfair advantage, but after a landmark ruling in May this year by the Court of Arbitration for Sport, Pistorius was cleared to try and qualify for the Olympics and ever since then he's had to get used to being in the glare of the media spotlight pretty quickly. Just on my personal you know what, what happened this year with, with everybody that's been behind me you know that's something that that's being at, uh, in the position that I'm in I'm just so grateful to everybody that helped me get here and, and helped me perform tonight and you know without them I would never have been able to perform like I have been so it, it's it's definitely been a huge learning curve for me this year and I'm sure you know, in the years to come, it's, it, you know, I'm looking forward to those. His bid to meet the qualifying standard for the Olympics fell just short, though he had been keen to stress that he wanted to qualify by right and not come as a reserve on the relay team. But with speed to burn and time still very much on his side, Pistorius knows his best years still lie ahead. Uh, my next goal after this is obviously the World Championships in Berlin. I'm looking forward to that and a long-term goal is going to be 2012 Olympics and you know, in London, so I think that's going to be a goal that obviously my coach and I are going to have to, you know, put a lot of grafting into, but I'm looking forward to it, you know, that's what athletics is about. Oscar's sporting motto is that you're not disabled by the disabilities you have, you're enabled by the abilities you have. And as he just collects his third medal of these Paralympic Games here in the Burzness Stadium behind me, he's certainly done just that. Mark Dreyer, CCTV.